Okay, this year, eighth grade, uh, did element boxes for their exhibit. Each student was assigned an element, and what we did is we had three examples of that element in the box. We had the properties of the element and a short story or a his history of our element. Um, these QR codes, if you take a picture of it, it'll send you to a website which has a digital representation of their element, such as a a skit or um so the shaving cream has polar and non-polar properties and um like it has water in it also which is which has some polar properties yeah. so that allows it to make the swirling pattern and like mix together yeah. which one has the highest huh? um I think it would be the lightest. I think it would be yellow because it's, uh, it's a light color. Like black, it would be. Yeah. So the color has to do with the temperature. Yeah. So where do you have a little one too? Yeah, I have two little ones. I have Great Awakening and Math. That's supposed to be a division sign. Yep. In each of these tasks, these are art pieces that our students do after they have learned some things. Some are engagement tools at the beginning, some are uh, assessments at the end. But in all these cases, our students are learning through art and through uh, the application of what they have learned. And this is key. The engagement of the, uh, in each of these pieces is a critical part to their learning. And in each case, each student has ownership in what they do, and then they share it with others.